guys welcome back to my channel i think this is like the most makeup 101 thing i've done since like literally being makeup 101 i recorded this makeup today um i'm filming my podcast it's thursday so i typically put makeup on on thursdays and i just felt like recording it today um i didn't really have a direction for this look but i feel like this is like such a beautiful summer makeup that is like very skin focused but i don't know i also know that it's prom time and like i would totally have worn this makeup to prom so i feel like you can do like prom makeup but it's also just like very summer glam makeup i think it's gorge i really like it um i really focused a lot on the skin part of it like i've just been watching a lot of professional makeup or makeup artists do makeup on their clients and i just really like their approach it's like it's a lot of layering but it's such a light touch of the makeup that it really is just buildable and flawless and really seamless so i wanted to try that technique so i definitely have a lot of different products layered but like when i look at my skin close up it is definitely not cakey and I can still like see through to my skin like right here for example like you can tell that like it's still my skin underneath like and like that's one of my freckles showing through so like it's very much so just this very natural skin but it just looks so flawless in a sense like it's really just very skin focused and then I did this cute like shimmer on the eyes which I love shimmer on the eyes and like the glitter that I'm going to show you I wear it all the time because it is just so gorge yeah i just wanted to film a tutorial it was like so fun to do i felt so like nostalgic the whole time while i was doing it and yeah it's just crazy how like youtube comes full circle you guys will notice that as i was i did a voiceover for this tutorial because i wanted to watch that new netflix show um it's like the ultimatum marriage or move on i think it's what it's called it is so crazy like you guys will see when i'm like doing this makeup look that i'm literally in like shock at one what these people are doing and two what they are literally saying to each other i think i'm going to talk more about it on my podcast which is manifest with tori desmond if you guys want to go watch that on youtube or listen to it on spotify apple podcast or listen to podcasts but it is just so wild and like I could never imagine myself going on that show. Um, I could never imagine. I'm gonna stop talking. This is the look, and I hope you guys like it. All right, guys, hello. Let's start out with skin prep. I never include this in makeup tutorials, but that's because I've never been as into skincare as I am right now. I'm gonna be doing a whole entire skincare routine that's actually next week's video. Um, if you guys notice, I also uploaded on Thursdays. I switched my upload days to Thursdays. So let me know if you like Thursday or Sunday better. But I'm thinking I'm going to stick with Thursdays. Anyway, um, I'm also going to have every product linked down below. But I'm just doing light skin prep because it is so important, um, especially because this look is very skin focused. I really just want the skin to be glowing underneath very hydrated, very plump, very supple. So I'm using a combination of hydrating toners, hydrating serums, vitamin C, which is literally game changing. And this is the Laneige eye cream. Like I said, next week, I'm going to go very in depth with my skincare routine. So this is just like a quick overview. And then this is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense, which is my favorite moisturizer of all time, putting this all over top of my skin. And once I have all my skincare on my skin, I let it sit for like two to five minutes um, and just let it like soak in. And of course, sunscreen. This is the Super glue, super Goop Glow Screen because if you don't put on sunscreen, everything that we just did is a total waste. Sunscreen is so important. And it's also really pretty underneath makeup because it gives you a nice glow. And then I'm just hydrating my lips with the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask, but I wear it all day long. And I love this stuff. It also gives, this is um, berry, but it also gives my uh, lips like a really light pink tint. It's really cute and really pretty. All right, let's get started with the makeup. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And this is like a primer. Um, and I apply this all over my face. 
and I take, this is a really old It Cosmetics brush. I will link one down below that is similar to this because they don't, I don't think they sell this one anymore, but I'll link one down below. But I wanted like a dense brush that I could stipple the product in with, but then I could buff out on the edges. And you can see that like when I get to my ear, my jawline, my neck, I will buff this product. But when I'm on like my cheeks, nose, forehead, pretty much anything else, I stipple it in because I don't want to move all of the skincare that I just put into my skin. Um, and then I go in with a damp beauty blender. This is actually a Real Techniques beauty sponge, but I'll link a beauty blender down below. Um, and you'll see that like throughout this episode, oh my God, tutorial, I mean, I'm like way too much in the podcast mindset. Throughout this tutorial, I will constantly go back in with the sponge. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and you literally need the littlest amount. You guys can see I did one pump for the bottom half of my face, cheeks, nose, chin, and then half a pump for my forehead. This foundation is so worth every single penny. I have heard that the Makeup Forever HD foundation, like the new formula, is a great dupe. I haven't tried it, so don't take my word for it, but I've heard great things. But seriously, this foundation is so worth it, especially because for me, you you don't need a lot. So it's going to last a really long time and it is just so gorge. And then I'm going in with the um, sponge and just really patting this into my skin. Um, but this foundation is just, it's honestly everything. It is so glowy. It is so skin-like. It is so hydrating. It doesn't feel heavy. It has buildable coverage. It is just perfect. This is the Rare Beauty bronzing stick. And I'm going to take this on the brush rather than directly onto my face so that I can control where the product goes. And I'm just going to start again by patting and stippling this into my cheeks, forehead, sides of my nose, and on my jawline. And this just creates such a beautiful glow. I'm not really trying to contour here. I'm just trying to create a glow and some color back into my face and into my skin. Another product that I really like is the Anastasia Cream Contour and the Chanel Cream Contour. I then go in with a sponge and dampen this or, you know, pounce this into the skin. And I do very light, very, very light contouring on my nose. I don't really go crazy with this because I just find that it looks a little weird on me if I go like too crazy with the nose contour. So I just run it down the sides a little bit because if I don't put anything on the nose then like the middle of my face looks like very stark in contrast to the rest of my, like the perimeters of my face. So I like to do this more so to even out than to contour. And of course going back in and blending this all together to make sure that it's nice and seamless. And you can see here the difference between the sides of my face. It has a cream contour and then doesn't. This is a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I feel like this is really where I've grown up because I used to put on so much concealer, but who can blame me? It was literally trends in 2016. We all did it. Um, but I've just been like the whole less is more kind of girly these days. And I'm really loving how my makeup turns out when I have this approach. And I'm also putting this underneath my contour to just kind of sculpt it out a little bit and make sure that it doesn't go down too far. Um, I will link a brush down below for under eye stippling. I really like using a brush underneath my eyes rather than a sponge because I feel like a sponge soaks up the product and kind of disperses it while the brush packs it right where I want it and takes away any excess but still leaves the coverage. I'm also just running this a little bit down the center of my nose and just being really particular of where I want this because I don't want to like wash out the color that I just put on my nose, but I also want to, you know, kind of shrink my nose a little bit with the highlight. Here I'm going in with the Too Faced setting powder. What I like to do is take the damp sponge with the powder and then pat it in the center of my hand. And that removes the excess and leaves me with the perfect layer of under eye powder that is going to be very, it's going to, it's like a light bake, if you will. Um, it's just going to set my concealer in place, but leave it hydrated. When I just use a brush, it can dry it out. And because this is summer skin, I want it to stay hydrated under the eyes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is my fave at the moment. Um, I'll link it down below along with this brush. I love this brush. It's by Morphe. So I'll link both of those. 
Um, but I just put this on my forehead, on my cheeks, my jaw, my nose. I use bronzer like all over my face and you guys will see that when we get to the eyes. I have not yet moved on to like putting your bronzer like way up. Um, I still leave it down kind of low, but you guys can see that I'm blending it up pretty high. So I like to do that. And then again, I run it down my nose, not really for contour purposes, but just so that it is even with the rest of my face. Um, but you guys will see that when I do my eyeshadow, I do like a little trick to make my nose look smaller without contouring my nose. This is Mac Give Me Sun, and this is kind of just like a topper. I just put this over top of my bronzer that I put on just to give a little more color. You can see that this is like kind of orangey, so I use it sparingly, but it just adds a really pretty glow and color, and I, of course, pounce this all into the skin so that it looks seamless the whole time. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Loose Setting Powder in Vanilla on a dry beauty blender and I cut underneath my cheeks for this for, it just makes me look really smiley all day long. I love it. Okay, I saw this on TikTok. I don't have the products, but I love this combination. Um, but we're also gonna talk really quick about the Charlotte Tilbury. So this is NARS Liquid Orgasm Blush, two dots on the cheek. And then this is the, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wand, the gold one. Put that three dots in between the blush as I'm doing on screen. I also put it down my nose. Now, I'm going to link these products below, but I'm also going to link dupes to this highlighter, and let me tell you why. I do not like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wands. That's a hot take, but like you can see it leaves these dots if you don't immediately go in and blend them out. You can blend them out, and I do. But you can see like it just takes a lot of elbow grease. I have used several other products such as um, the Too Faced highlighter, which I'll link down below. And I've never tried the Rare Beauty, but I see really good things. And I just think those blend out a lot better than the Charlotte Tilbury. Also, the Charlotte Tilbury is always sold out. I would just forego it if, if I were you. You totally don't need it. I bought it because it was popular, but I don't like it. Um, I used it today because I wanted to get the color just right, but watching back, I really should have just used the Too Faced one. So anyway, it leaves a gorgeous glow. I saw this on a YouTube video, but I also think it's viral on TikTok. Um, but anyway, I just, I adore it. It just leaves this really, really pretty glow. Um, this is me just going back in with bronzer and this is like, these are just some, some finishing touches that I like to do on my face. Dior Blush. This has been sold out everywhere except the Dior, the Dior website. Just go on the Dior website. It's right there. Um, and then I just put this over top. And I didn't do any other highlighter other than the cream highlighter because in person it's so glowy and so pretty. Now I'm going back in with the Too Faced Loose Setting Powder. And I'm just kind of sculpting where I want that blush slash highlight to start and stop. Yes, this also sets the under eyes, but I'm really doing it more so to sculpt the cheeks. And you'll see that in a minute. I'm just running that Charlotte Tilbury bronzer down the sides of my nose. This is a Morphe blending brush. I'll link it below. I'll link everything below. You guys know I got you. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of just, like I said, evening out the tones of my face throughout. And now I'm just going in with some finishing touches, adding a little bronzer here, blending it up into my blush there. Just kind of playing around with it until I like what I see. Um, I normally do this for like four or five minutes after I like get everything set. Oh, this, um, powder is amazing. This is by Hourglass and it just leaves a beautiful glow, beautiful sheen, beautiful finish on the skin. And I just put this on the forehead, chin and upper lip. And it is just a really gorgeous glow. Now I'm just going to wipe away that bake. This is just a big powder brush. So I'm wiping it away underneath my contour and you can see that it just makes me look so smiley. I love how this looks. I'll pretty much always do this, but make sure you really wipe it away. And I found that the Anastasia powder does not give me flashback. And I'm also wiping it away underneath my eyes. And you can see now that it just really sculpts my cheeks, sculpts the blush. And like if your blush got a little out of hand and it just kind of went everywhere, this is how you put it back where you want it without like removing product. You just kind of sculpt it. And I just think it looks so pretty and smiley. Okay, moving on to the eyes. So I'm taking that Charlotte Tilbury bronzer on a big fluffy blending brush. This is by Morphe. 
And I put this all over my eye. This goes on the crease. This goes on the lid. And you can see right here that I really drag it on the inner corner of my eye to sculpt out my nose. And it just makes the bridge of your nose look skinnier by focusing on that inner corner of your eye. And I'm also sweeping it out to elongate my eye a little bit. And I'm just running it underneath my lash line as well so that my eyes look more round and more awake. I find that if I don't put anything under here, it's like too stark of a contrast. Now, don't mind the eyeliner that exploded and stained this brush. Very sad day to be me. But I'm taking a smaller blending brush on MAC Give Me Sun, and I'm putting this on the inner and outer corner of my eyes. So crease and lid, inner, outer corner, and it's kind of creating a very soft halo effect. And I'm doing the same thing on the lower lash line, inner and outer corner of the eyes, avoiding the tear duct. Then I'm just going to go in and blend this all together. It's a very natural look. Now, this is amazing. I'm going to link a dupe down below if Max still doesn't sell this. But okay, hang on. A moment of silence for this glitter. So I'm taking a liquid glitter right here, as you guys can see on this brush. This is by MAC. And I'm putting this all over my lid. Now, you can leave this, but it's a little sticky. It feels wet. That's why I go in with a powder glitter from Too Faced. So this is a liquid glitter. And then on the other side of the brush, I do the powder glitter. And I'm setting the liquid glitter with the powder glitter. You can also just use glitter glue. But I like having a liquid glitter underneath. It, it does the same thing and it just amps it up that much more. And I'm putting this on the center of my lid and even up into my crease. If you guys can see, I'm bringing it up pretty high. It'll make my eyes look a lot bigger and more round. And then I'm just going back in with that smaller blending brush, creating that halo effect and then wiping away any excess. This is literally a three product eye look and I think it's gorge. It looks like you spend a lot of time on it. It is so pretty. Oh, right here, I also put it underneath my eyes, but as soon as I did that, I didn't like it, so I'm trying to like buff it away here. Um, I wanted to show you guys, but you, I wouldn't recommend doing that because I didn't like how it looked, but if you're into it, go for it, girl. So yeah, I'm just buffing that away. Then I'm going in with MAC Nylon. This is my favorite highlight ever, and I'm putting this honestly more so on like the nose part of my eye rather than the tear duct and right underneath my eyebrow. This is gonna be so glowy, it's so gorge, I never go a day without doing this. This is the Kiss Magnetic Liner because I'm actually gonna use magnetic lashes today. They are so easy for people like me that like stress out about putting on lashes. These are really, really easy and I actually really like the liner. It's super black, it stays on, it does not like cry off when my eyes get watery. I really like it. So I'm doing a little wing little flick of the wrist and just creating this little wing mascara Too faced better than sex and benefit they're real and that just goes on the lashes and the lashes that I'm using are the kiss magnetic lashes I actually started out by putting on the entire strip of lashes but you guys will see that I actually cut them in half towards the end um, and I only kept them on the outer corner I put a white eyeliner in my waterline only to immediately regret it and not like it. It just wasn't the vibe that I was going for today. So I topped it with a brown eyeliner right over top, like a sparkly bronzy brown right over top. And I liked it more, but looking back, I probably would just leave the waterline totally there, but this worked out fine too. And then here I'm taking off the inner corner and I'm just leaving the outer corner. And that is the look I'm going for. Just some wispy outer corner. Going back in, buffing out the skin. Now it's time for the lips. This is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. And I was actually very shocked when I was looking back at the footage of this and recording my intro because my lips looked kind of like big. And I don't have lip injections. These are my natural lips. And I'm not overlining my lips. I'm just outlining them. And it's crazy what lip liner does. I don't know. I'm not like big on lip products. I'll normally just do like chapstick and stuff. So like chapstick and like clear, clear gloss. So it looked a little weird for me, but I'm getting used to it. But yeah, my lips, I think looked like kind of big in the intro. And I, obviously it's because of this. This is um, Honey Love by MAC. And then this is a Patrick Ta gloss. And this gloss is gorge. Normally I would just wear like a like this gloss and like be on my merry way. But I want to do the whole shebang today. 
And yeah, that's the look. I think it is so cute. I'm really happy with it. And I love how it turned out. And I can't wait to see if you guys recreate it, if you guys wear it to prom this summer, anything. I can't wait. All right, guys, that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Thanks for watching this super throwback style video from me. If you guys want more makeup tutorials, let me know. If you recreate this look, which I don't know if anyone will do, but if you do, tag me. Like if you make a TikTok recreating it, tag me in it because I would love to see a recreation of it. But guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel all these years. I just adore you guys and yeah, I love you. All right, I will talk to you guys on the next video.